Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal with the Lakes of Tea Games. On the last episode, we went through quite a bit of plot. We were struggling a little bit with the Medjed case because we have the hacktivist group Medjed coming after us. They have declared war on the Phantom Thieves and given us a deadline of August 21st, on which day they will cleanse Japan, is what they've said, uh, if we don't reveal our identities to prove our redemption? I can't remember the exact word that they used, but something like that. Uh, we found this out when we were talking to Akechi, which was fun. Um, just after we'd gone to get some sushi in Ginza. Uh, we'd gone out for sushi because we got a lot of money from Kanashiro's briefcase that we sold, so it was our celebration in place of the fireworks. Um, however, during this whole time we've also been trying to figure out a case with the hacker Alibaba who's been contacting us about changing the heart of a Futaba Sakura. We got a little bit of information on Futaba Sakura, but upon talking to Boss about it, uh, we figured out that the Boss isn't very happy about us looking into Futaba Sakura. Um, we spoke a little bit with Alibaba over the texts and Alibaba told us to stop looking into Futaba as soon as we told Alibaba we wanted to meet with them in order to learn a little bit more about Futaba. Uh, but upon coming home from getting some sushi, we decided to go over to Boss's house, to Sojiro's house, with the sushi takeaway box that we had in order to maybe get some answers out of Sojiro about Futaba Sakura because we think that Futaba Sakura and Alibaba are one and the same. We encountered a mysterious person in Boss's house and it was probably Futaba. Probably. Anyway. Um, but we also found Sojiro there as well. Uh, he didn't really like the fact that we were in his house. Uh, but then we went over to Leblon and we talked with Sojiro about Futaba and about her whole situation. Apparently her mother, who she was raised solely by, was a wonderful woman, um, a very kind, very weird lady, but she, her mother committed suicide right in front of Futaba's eyes by throwing herself into traffic a couple of years ago. Sojiro became Futaba's guardian after that, but recently in the past few months Futaba started seeing lots of hallucinations and hearing hallucinations and has become a bit of a shut-in, or a lot of a shut-in actually, she doesn't go outside at all. So that's Futaba's situation. Also we realised that Morgana uh, must have abandoned us at some point because he wasn't with us during that entire conversation. Uh, we figured that out when we were talking about Futaba again after Boss had left. Um, because we decided to check Futaba's name in the nav just to see if she maybe even had a palace and it turns out that she does indeed have a palace. So guess we're gonna have to figure out what to do with that but first of all where the heck is Mona? Can I, can I look at stuff here? Mona? Where are you? Uh, that's nothing new. If I if I sit down, I wonder where Morgana went. Yeah, so do I. Can I check other stuff as well? Morgana hasn't come back yet. Morgana hasn't come back yet. This plant looks pretty vibrant and healthy for now. I, can I look at any other stuff? I don't think so. The TV. Morgana hasn't come back yet. Morgana and I might pass each other. I should wait until tomorrow. Well, I, I, I guess we just have to go straight to bed then and, and wait for Morgana to show up. All right, well, let's sleep. I should get to bed. Let's sleep. Were you just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? I take it the chief told you about Futaba and then you guys disbanded in relief for now? Where were you? You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. I was checking out the chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. Young? Well, she's probably about the same age as you guys. At least her voice was pretty young sounding. Oh, and she had long hair too. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief. And she can hack into our chats, too. Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. What an odd girl. In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjed. Let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know.
Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Mejid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? They were an unseen enemy. Then how was Mejid... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. I'm not lying to you. <laughs> if you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to your story. It's still unclear to us as to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjed since their identity is unknown. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. It seems Sai and Nijima is starting to seriously listen to what I have to say. And we leveled up with the Judgment Arcana Prosecutor Confidant 3. <laughs> Love you, Sai. We're, we're trying our best here, okay? All right. Your Judgment Confidant has increased to rank 2. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. <laughs> what a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Seriously? They're holding a- they're seriously holding an emergency meeting right when summer break is starting? I guess they ha need to set some rules when the world's eyes are on us because of the Phantom Thieves. Stuff like, don't do anything that will hurt the school's reputation, spend your summer break quietly. I can't. I can't stay quiet with all this excitement going on. Magic's statement was insane. People of Japan, you must not worship the Phantom Thieves, they said. It could be a joke. There's talk that this leak could lead to the biggest leak of private data to date. I wonder- I wonder if- I wonder if they're going to target another site. I'm curious to see how the Phantom Thieves react. It's what I'm- what, it's what I'm looking forward to most this summer. It'll be the perfect escape from exam studies. But the Phantom Thieves need to take action. They're the ones Medjad's after. This is bigger than I thought. We can't leave this be. You're right. Yep. Let's get this assembly out of the way. We have our own business to attend to. Morning! Oh, hey, Ron. Morning! Hmm? Is there something over there? <laughs> Come on, let's go. We're gonna be late. An assembly during summer vacation? Are they crazy? Our school's done for. I don't care what the principal has to say. They're so stupid. I wish they could change their hearts. I'm gonna make a post. Our request might be taken. Man, that assembly had me bored to tears. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Well then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said, she's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. 
basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why's that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? I hope so. That has to be the case. I... definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? I'm just lucky. Sure live up to my expectations. I could sense a firm resolve for Morgana. Okay, we leveled up with Morgana. Alright, now we have Ace Tools. Allows you to craft all infiltration tools. Oh nice! Thank you, Morgana. Alright. Your magician commandant has increased to rank 6. You will now earn more EXP from Arcana Burst with using personas of the magician Arcana. You've now learned how to make ace tools for Morgana. They went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. Now the last keyword. She's a shut-in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit. Conditions have not been met. Maybe an oasis? Conditions have not Nothing so far. In that case, how about hell? Conditions have not been met. Uh, we don't have nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can! Come on, let's go see Futaba. But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. You have to be joking. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. And I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What if we run into Boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Oh. Getting cold feet, Makoto? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in contact with him. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him? Very well. Let's do this. This is Futaba's room. Futaba-chan! You're in there, right? There's no answer. Futaba-chan! Are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. Ah, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Is it Alibaba? Why, Why are you here? here? Why is she only reacting to that name? You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? 
She's not responding again. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself, just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Okay. okay. All right then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. What, what do you, you want to hear? hear? How is living in this house? It's painful. Why don't you go out? I can't leave this place. I'm going to die here. What? Die? Is this going to continue? Why do you think that? Why? This place is my tomb. Tomb? You think that's it? Try entering tomb! Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. We got it! Was that enough? Yes. It was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? I haven't. We made a deal. Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. You idiot! Don't activate it here! Desert. Yeah, we see that. Wait, what the? Our, our clothes are still the same? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Mm, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kanashiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh yeah, there's something shiny. A tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? Of course not. My paws will get burned. I've been waiting for this. I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. You're so considerate. <laughs> right. All right, <laughs> let's roll. opening the windows to the hot desert air. <sighs> hey, On, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. <sighs> How are the guys? Is that 
it? There we go. Working at all. What the hell was that lukewarm air about? That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping. For real? You are so half assed. What was that? You wanna fight, punk? Jeez, shut up. It's hot, so don't make me more irritated. <sighs> to think her palace would be a pyramid. Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. But there are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead, hmm? It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Hey guys, can we go in already? I'm gonna melt. Oh man. Ugh, so freaking hot. Come on, let's get inside. Well, hello there. Welcome to Futaba's Palace. This place is uh, fun. I'll talk more about it later. But for now, let's have a little ex explore of the way outside of it anyway. Uh, it looks like there's some places over here we can jump to. Her. I like that he walks with his hands in his pockets. Er. Oh, I can't steal anything. Sad. That, that's an Anubis statue though, right? Yeah, the dog god. Anubis, the god of... of... Is it death? Might be? I'm not sure. A desert with a pyramid and an oasis. It's quite a sight. It looks like there's quicksand down below. Better not go down there then, if that's quicksand. Er, uh, well, we can head over this way. Uh, maybe have a look at what's over at the other end? I like that our jumping still has the the phantom kind of thing behind it, even though we're not currently wearing our thieves outfits. Uh, that must be the way we came from with the Mona bus. Uh, actually, what happens if we examine this? We came all the way to this tomb, right? It's too early to head back now. Yeah, I'm not planning on heading back, don't worry. Uh, what's over this way then? Um, there's some kind of underground bit. There's uh, a closed gate. The grate on the door is keeping us from opening it. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Well, good to know that that's there. Um, and then if we go this way, we can look out over here. Hey. Huh. I can see that city we passed by on the way here. Hmm. We probably don't need to concern ourselves with it, though. I can sense the treasure in the pyramid. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, let's uh, head on into the pyramid, because we've pretty much looked at everything we can here. Hi on, hi Yusuke. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's go. It seems Futaba's palace. So this is how she thinks of that house. Indeed. Who knows what may await us within? What is your call, Joker? Shall we head inside? Let's go. Okay. Okay! We'll find out more about Futaba's secrets in here, right? Yes. Indeed. Well, Let's head inside. Whoa! Whoa, it's so nice inside! Is this place air conditioned or something? It may be because Futaba's room in reality has AC pumping through it. Either way, this is a relief. Huh, our clothes still haven't changed, even now. This has never happened to us before. What to do? It is refreshing that she doesn't see us as a threat, but we are completely surrounded by walls. I guess this is a tomb. It's probably not made to be easy to get into. Anyway, let's explore. Hi there! Welcome to Futaba's Palace. This is my favorite palace in the game. Because I'm trash. Also, this is my favorite palace theme in the game. Because I'm trash. Freaking, it's so good. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> I love it a lot. Oh my god. 
we're here. Um, okay, let's have a look around. Oh, I just, I love the Egyptian aspects of it that are merged with the aspects that are all to do with technology and stuff because look at all this binary code up here. And then like, that's right beside sarcophagi inside of a pyramid, which is a tomb. It's so cool. Oh, I just love it. Also this music. I just love it. I love it a lot. Oh my god. Okay, sorry, let's go. <laughs> oh man. Oh gosh, okay. If we jump across here, we can get over to the other side. Uh, okay, oh, that's a big staircase. This is amazing! These stairs go pretty far. Uh, there's way too there's way too goddamn many. Don't ask for too much. We should be happy you're not being attacked as we ascend. Oh! More importantly, I can totally sense the treasure ahead. We're getting pretty close now. These stairs seem to be headed into the heart of the pyramid. I wonder if that's where the treasure waits. Let's go! Well, time to get climbing them. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's good that she seems to have opened her heart quite a lot to us. Well, I mean... She asked us to steal her heart. <laughs> Yeah, no enemies or nothing? I'm all for shit like this. Again, it's because she asked to steal, to, to, to steal her heart, I think. Because she asked us personally. I guess it means we can just walk in and do it. Alright. Oh, this is so cool. Look at these. Look at these. Oh. Hey. Do you think it's because she's not a criminal? Mm. I suppose she did welcome us hey. in here, after all. Don't let your guard down. This is a classic pyramid. Possibly with deadly traps. Holy frick, they went by real quick. Sorry if my voice has got messed up, I couldn't read them properly. Uh, oh, there's a couple of doors here. Not that we can go through either of them, but... Oh, that looks like a safe room though. Hmm. Okay, that's gonna be a good thing to remember. Uh, what about a bit further up? I... I feel like I'm hearing a grappling hook sound. It's beautiful. So this is the mystique of a bygone era. The real thing's think so? I don't think you can actually call this the real thing. I completely didn't see what Yusuke said at the end there. Uh, sorry. Anyway. Oh man. This song! Oh, sorry. I'm just, I'm happy to be here. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> this looks like our job's gonna be easier this time or something like that. That literally just showed up and immediately went away. Like, why? What was the point? Game, come on! I'm gonna walk this time. Oh, there's someone there. Uh, hello? Oh, hi. Hmm? There's someone there! Hey, is this? That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh, yeah, you've seen her face. True, this one's kind of dressed like a queen. So you're Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something! Don't be like that! I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay, there's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? This is going nowhere. Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Those who plunder my tomb, why have you come? She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing, where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. Considering the state that my palace is in, there is no way that you can steal it. Creepy child! You killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Murderer! Why don't you say something? Murderer? You're the one who killed her! It's your fault! This is horrible. Hey, the hell is this? Don't come don't near just me! Don't stand there! Say something! It's your fault! Murderer! That's, That's right. right. I did it. What? 
I am the one who killed my mother. What was that? My mother exists here. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Our clothes! She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Hmm? This... again? Creepy child. You killed her! You're a plague with that murderer! Name? Why don't you say You're something? You're the one who killed her! That's right. I killed Mom. I don't deserve to be alive. This place is a tomb. I'll die here. That's right. Die! Don't come near me! Don't just stand there! Say something! It's your fault! No! Someone help me! Damn it! What the hell? This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. We should regroup and... What now? Oh crap! Bad! 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 Run! We're safe. That was too close. Wait! Wait, now what? Even if we wanted to ask Futaba about what's going on, it seems the door is shut. What should we do? I think our best option is retreating for now. This won't be as simple as we expected. Why don't we prepare a little more and then come back? My thoughts exactly. You're right. True. Then let's retreat for now and return to the palace another day. The date that Medjid is set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyber-terrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Sounds good. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout, then? We must take care not to be discovered by Boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perv. Shut up. It was a great view. You guys were looking too, am I right? Indeed. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. That ain't what I'm talking about. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman, after all. It's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed, am I right? <sighs> Will we be alright like this? Sister, okay, yeah, your hideout has changed from the Shibuya Takeu building accessway to the Yongen Jaya Cafe Leblon.
well that sucked. Is this really going to help us do something about Medjet? Do they truly intend to follow through on their threat? It'd be a shame if our efforts were a waste. Medjet will definitely make a move. Alibaba? I'm checking in on your progress. How much longer will it take? Your heart is more problematic than we had anticipated. Hey, Alibaba! Can you really do something about Medjet? Of course. Unfortunately, we have next to no evidence to support that. Your work will be rewarded, I promise. Besides, you have no other option, do you? I suppose that's true. Can you do something like take down a server? Show us. Hey, don't start any trouble. That's all it would take to convince you? Alright. I ask that you take care of this quickly. Until then. Wait, are you ditching us again? This is troubling, but we need to do what we can at the moment. I have concern for Futaba herself during all this. Man, why does this have to be during summer vacation? We don't have any other choice. Renkun, as always, we'll leave it to you to call us together. The sight of her palace bothers me too. We have to do this. Hey, listen up! This is horrible! The fan site is gone! I try to access the URL, but it says the page doesn't exist! The fruit of my labor has completely disappeared! Oh, do you think it's because of Medjet? Nope, it's Alibaba. Huh? Who's Alibaba? Anyway, this has to be Medjet's doing. Is this some kind of- is, is this supposed to be some kind of penalty for cheering the, for the Phantom Thieves? But wait, they're totally jumping the gun! There's still time until the cleanse! Hold up, something came up. Is this proof enough for you? What's that supposed to mean? Do you think it's a virus? Oh! What is it now? Well, uh, it looks like everything's back to normal. Uh, sorry for making a fuss about all this. I'm gonna try and look into it a little more, though. See you. Was that Alibaba proving what she said earlier? Talk about a crazy thing to pull off. Indeed it is, isn't it? Let's just go downstairs for just a moment. Hi, Futaba, if you can hear us, I love you. <laughs> oh my god. Well, hi. This is, this is a whole thing, isn't it? <laughs> oh man, I... Love this arc of the game so much. Oh my god. Oh, I'm in pain. That is beautiful. Oh god. We so, so hi, hi, hi. We're on my favorite palace of the game. I'm freaking out. Fitaba, I love her. I love her. Um, and I feel so bad for her. She's having these awful hallucinations and hearing voices, and ooh, it's all very, very interesting. And I'm so excited to get started on that palace. Uh, but first, Hi, Mona. How you doing? Hey! Our main objective here is defeating Medjet, so you can't rest even after we steal Futaba's heart. Understand? That's true, but I feel like my personal thing is I want to heal Futaba first. She is clearly in a lot of pain. So if we can help her, then let's do it. Nice! Right, the plant is healthy. Let's sit down. Hey! With those hacking skills, she might be our best bet. Yeah, she does seem very skilled at the talent of hacking. Alright, if we go downstairs, the TV had something new, so we might as well watch it. And now a news update on Medjet, who released a statement last night. The Medjet homepage has posted a declaration of victory and an announcement of their next crime. This is thought to be yet another provocation against the Phantom Thieves, who have yet to respond. I can't forgive them. They're really getting carried away. Well, just you wait. Yeah, they're getting very carried away, but that that's understandable, I guess, because they're a weird hacker group. All right, let's have a look in the fridge. I want to make some curry tonight, I think. Hey, there are some leftover curry ingredients here. What do you want to do? Got to make some curry? Let's do it. It seems to be going well so far. By the way, what was that white sauce you added? Let me explain. 
Secret ingredient, yogurt. This cultured dairy product is used to add acidity, richness, and sweetness to the curry. It also balances out the spice level. Common in India, curry's home country, yogurt is known for its probiotics, which serve to strengthen the immune system. Yeah, I have like two, three different curry recipes that I like, that are all like Indian curry recipes, um, and they all use... Well, actually, does one of them not use... No, no, they all use yogurt. The ones that I make anyway, they use yogurt. I, I love them all a lot, they're very delicious. Yogurt, huh? I wonder if the curry changes colour when you add that. It does. <laughs> you throw it all together with such gusto! Could it be that the secret ingredient is confidence? Yeah, it just makes it a little bit lighter in shade, usually. Um, actually, the one that I make the curry is put in... Sorry, the... The yogurt is mixed in with all of the other ingredients... Well, not all of the other ingredients, a bunch of like spices and stuff first. Um, and you put it in with the chicken and marinade, marinate it in the fridge for a few hours. Um, and then you add cream in at the very end after you finish cooking the rest. Uh, cream and coriander and oh it's so good i love that recipe anyway nice the curry's smelling good this will definitely be a hit yes all right oh you look awfully proud of yourself we got two decent curries well then we should rest for now got a big day tomorrow If we want Futaba's help, we're gonna have to steal her treasure by the day before the deadline. So we have to find the treasure by the 18th and send the calling card by the 19th. It's up to you when we go into the palace, but keep that deadline in mind, okay? The plan to change Futaba's heart has begun. Try to steal your heart, your target's heart before the deadline. Or by the deadline, anyway. I want to go in today if I can. Oh, infiltrating mementos? <laughs> God, who's gonna do that? <laughs> Requests will appear on the Phantom Aficionado website as rumors of the Phantom Thieves spread. Use these tips to track targets in Mementos. Exploring Mementos and defeating shadows is an effective way to gain experience. Grow stronger by battling both rare and common shadows in Mementos. Well, we're not going in Mementos hey. anytime soon. Hey, shouldn't you tell the target the others about that target in Mementos? No, not anytime soon, Mona. Oh, why have you got so many texts? Oh no, everyone wants to hang out. No! <laughs> I want to go with the palace! Uh, I guess we should probably hang out with our friends. Considering we have friends to hang out with. Oh, Yusuke doesn't actually want to hang out. He's just saying hi. Um, I don't know. I feel like we're okay for party confidants at the moment. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should wait until a day where none of them are available though. Because thinking about it like that we've got a little bit of time left in this episode so we're probably able to get through a day or two of confidant stuff and if we do confidants today at the very least then that at least means that we can do other confidants that aren't our party members during the time between finishing the palace and sending the calling card or we could just send the calling card um so i think it's not necessarily a bad idea to hang out with someone uh we might as well read all of the texts anyway what are you doing right now Ain't we going to the palace today? I'm at the arcade in Shibuya. Let me know if anything comes up. It seems like Ryuji's in Shibuya. Wanna hang out with him for a bit? Uh, decide later. What are we doing today? Are we meeting up today? I'm in the underground mall in Shibuya. It's super packed since it's summer vacation. I'll still be in Shibuya for a little while, so let me know if anything comes up. Er, uh, I'll let you know if anything comes up, but yeah. Are we going today? I'll be- if you'll be infiltrating the palace, be sure to gather everyone. Err, uh, let's ignore that for now. Makoto, what have you got to say? What are you doing today, Renkun? I just finished up some student council work. I have some things to take care of, so I'll be in the school's vicinity. Let me know if you need anything. Err, uh, Makoto's at school. Why are you at school? It's summer vacation. Take a day off. Uh, well, I mean, if it's just them available... I'm happy to go into the the palace, personally. Um, I might just buy some items and then get ready to go into the palace next time. Because I, I really want to start her palace! And we can get it done pretty much in a day anyway, if I remember correctly, so... I think we should do it. We can come back for our friends, because the sooner we get through the palace, the sooner we can send the calling card. It's not going to take up that much of our time, and we'll have plenty of time afterwards to hang out with the rest of our friends. 
So I think prioritizing the palace comes first. Uh, if I talk to Mona, he's just gonna ask if we wanna go out. Um, I wanna see if I need items. How are we doing? I've got a bunch of HP items, so we should be okay for those. Because uh, I bought some more before the boss battle last time. Um, and for SP items, I have a lot of curry now and a lot of coffee, as well as some other things. Um, I almost feel like we should be okay. I might go to the vending machines just to pick up some of the 5 SP drinks just so that we have something extra, but I think otherwise we might be fine. Uh, so I'm going to pick up some things from the vending machines. Mm. Oh, everything's sold out? Mm. Oh, it's no surprise with what everything being hot right now. Is that going to be the same everywhere that sells them? Um, there's one in the arcade in Shibuya, right? Uh, that's a pain. Why would they do that? Hi, hi Ryuji. Don't mind me. Mm. Nope, everything's sold out. Alright, well, I, I guess we'll talk to, to, Ru to Ryuji and just head on into the palace, since there's not much else to do. Hey. Yo, Ren, what are you doing today? Let's head to the metaverse. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Come on, let's meet at the hideout. Beautifully executed. Here, this is for you. It was a resounding success. Oh, hey, we got the counter card. Thank you. Hey. Excuse me, Ryuji. I hope you still recall the details of our new battle tactic. Huh? Uh, battle tactic? Oh, you mean the stuff we talked about before the summer festival, right? Yep, still got it. Very good. What's up? What are you guys talking about? We're simply discussing how it's important to spice up our battle tactics here and there. What did you say? Spice up your... Ah, don't worry about it. We've got something crazy to show you later. All right. Ryuji and Yusuke's showtime has been unlocked. I'm honestly surprised at the palace this time. Everywhere we looked was just desert. Oh, yeah. All the other ones until now have just been normal cities outside of the distortion itself. Thanks to that, we didn't even know we were in a palace our first time going into Kamoshida's. That's still part of the palace, though. The city may not have been distorted, but it was cognition. Palace rulers may have been criminals, but they were social enough to know the city layout. But Futaba probably doesn't. In fact, I'd bet she isn't even interested in the outside world. Hence why the whole thing is a bleak desert. Understandable, considering her lifestyle. I doubt many famous criminals are shut-ins like her, though. Hopefully that means we won't have to go through all this desert business in the future. That might not necessarily be the case. Many upper-class citizens travel by limo or plane, so they don't know or care about city life. A plane? Damn, that sounds pretty good. I mean, wouldn't you want to go to a palace way up above the clouds if you could? No thanks. I think a flying bank is quite enough, thanks. I have to say, though, the topic of the area outside the distortion is fascinating. Depending on the criminal, there may be an exact replica of Tokyo within their palace. I would love to examine the aesthetics of such a strange place at least once. Huh. You don't got a damn thing but art in that head of yours, huh? But it's true that an observant criminal could have a true-to-reality city in their palace. Although even if such a place did exist, it's not like we'd have any use for it. Hmm, that was an interesting conversation. Anyway, we are here! Let's hold a quick meeting before we head into Futaba's palace, because yeah, why not? <sighs> we'll just have to believe that Futaba can take care of Medjet and focus on stealing her heart. The day Medjet said was August 21st. We've still got time to spare. Okay. It is time we start the meeting. Let us sort through our current state of affairs. There's no end in sight right now. Let's try to investigate a little more. We haven't even investigated at all, really, but yeah, we're gonna though. Let's infiltrate the palace! Okay, let's go. Oh. Hey, we've changed it to our Phantom Thief costumes. That proves she sees us as a threat now. Let's be careful. Let's begin our beautiful work. Indeed, Yusuke, indeed. Er, uh, or Fox, rather, now that we're in our costumes. Well! I can feel it. This is Futaba's palace, that's her shadow thing. She's a level 40 already, woof. Okay, 
But hopefully it'll go down pretty quickly with the level he got for Oya. I'm not sure if it will though. Um, I think we can do a tiny bit of work in here before we stop for the day. Not very much obviously, but just a tiny little bit. Um, and then between episodes I'll probably do some fusion because I haven't done any in a little while. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do that between episodes. But right now, let's head on in for a little exploration. Oh, before I do that though, there's something very important we need to do. All right, if I jump over here. <laughs> First of all, I'm gonna steal this Anubis. Nice. And then second of all, let's go down here. We do love the pointless slide. Okay. <laughs> All right, I don't think there's anything else that we really need to look at here. Unless the city? Is there anything new for that? Because I didn't really check, did I? Hey. All right, no, this isn't a new conversation. No. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay, well, let's head on into the palace. Because that's important. Fataba, we're coming to rescue you from yourself. I still love this palace so much, oh my god. I... Oh, I thought I saw something blue up there. Oh, I think it was maybe... There are like little glyphs that pop in and out. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's so cool. Look at this palace! Oh, I thought I could jump up on top of those for some reason. Uh, well, what if we go this way? Uh, I don't think there's anything over at the door, but we might as well check it. Uh, hello? Let us in, please. So it's still won't open. We might just have to give up on it. No point sitting around, though. What do you want to do, Joker? Let's look for another entrance. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Considering how humongous this building is, there has to be other ways in. We, we will have to investigate every suspicious place we see, both inside the pyramid and out. For real? Uh, outside? You mean we gotta deal with that heat again? No complaining. Let's begin our investigation right away. Yeah, can't complain about the heat. We've got stuff to be doing, Ryuji. All right. Well, we might as well head on outside and see what we can find out there. Oh, this music. Okay, okay, let's go. Are you leaving? Come back here. Let's talk for a moment. Hi, Shadow Futaba. How are you doing? By the way, I love... I love the design of Shadow Futaba as well. Just everything about this palace is so good! Hi! You're so tiny. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome back. I had thought I would never see you again. Yeah, oh, I wonder why. I can't believe you tried to crush us with an effing boulder. You want us to steal your goddamn treasure or not? Hmm, why don't we make a deal? You wish to proceed further, yes? A deal, you say? There is a town nearby. I would like you to take back that which the bandit there stole from me. Oh yeah, I think I remember seeing a town on the way here. If you bring what was stolen back to me, I will give you a reward. I'll even tell you how to proceed. Can't you tell us any more details? Anything about this bandit or what was stolen? You'll learn all the information you need to know once you arrive. We'll need to head outside if we want to go to the town. We can go when you're ready, Joker. Will do then. Hi, Shadow Futaba. How are you doing? Take back that which the bandit stole from me. He should be in the nearby town. Okay, will do, Futaba. Will do. Oh, man, I love her so much. Okay, okay, let's leave. Let's leave. Hmm. So, how are we supposed to get to the town? She said it's nearby. We could probably see it from here, right? Yes. Good point. Let us observe the surroundings and search for any towns that may lie about here. Well, we can do that next time, because I think we're actually going to stop off here. Um, thinking about the stuff that we have to do next, I, I don't think we'll be able to get them done in this episode. So, I think we're going to end off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this, ep this episode here today, including our beginning of our infiltration into Futaba's Pyramid Palace, and of course the revelation that she has a pyramid palace. Um, I hope you're enjoying it so far. Next time we will actually do some deep infiltration of the palace and hopefully 
find that thing that Futaba was asking us to do in the bordering town so that we can steal something from the bandit there. Uh, but yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time is for you. And I will see you next time.